All right. You know what that means? We're live. And and I don't mean just a live, we're live. Like really live. And 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 we're even gonna have Ashley live tonight. So anyway, for all of you out there, thanks for tuning in for our Tuesday night show. Uh the uh Overland Radio Show, sponsored by Overland Attic. Midland USA and Rugged Bound. We appreciate them. Actually, he's actually not too far from Theo at Rugged Bound. She should probably shag his direction and go say hello. She's not too far away. I said not too far away. She's probably half a day drive. So still. Anyway, thanks for uh, joining us and hanging out uh, tonight. It's just going to be Ashley and I again. Ashley and her family are off on vacation, so. Uh, we'll get caught up on what they've been doing down there, and then we'll talk about some other things. There's some um, a couple of events I want to talk about, not just uh, you know uh, the big one, the obvious one, the more expo that'll be here before you know it. But there's some other little events that um, I've come across. That I thought maybe we'd share those and talk about those a little bit, and a couple other little things, and just you know kind of do a little catch up. I guess not ketchup like for fries, but you know what I mean, Ket- ketchup. And then I actually doesn't know this, but I ordered something for us to give away at more. And uh, I'm going to order some more because I think I like these enough that I'm going to order one, but I got to get Jeff to help me out. He's got to hook me up with the most embarrassing picture he can find of Ashley. And, um, and that way I can have these things made. But uh, anyway, so let's bring the uh, the troublemaker herself all the way from down in Big Bend. Okay, hold on. Hey, hey everybody. How are you guys? <laughs> Who's breaking up? Somebody having a fight? Uh, I don't know. It's like you're breaking up on my end. So I don't know if we have so many devices on the Starlink and it's actually me or what's going on. Um, but yeah, sorry, they're trying to disconnect people, kick people off, uh, from Starlight. Oh my God, really? This is going to be the show. Okay. This is going to be what happens is I am not responsible for what happens going on around me. I am not alone at this campground and you know, I got my OSOS crew, so it's going to be fun. Well, I'm sure we're going to see somebody probably stroll through with a kilt on and hopefully there's no sagging there balls two of those. hanging out of the bottom of it. Oh, two. There's, t- right. there's, there's two running around with oh, kilt on. They're going anyway. full Scottish. All right, so tell everybody where you're at tonight. What? Can you turn your phone off really fast? Just from this? This, this, this is how we do things around here, you know? No? Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm on the show. Go away. No, no, he's not. He's lying. She didn't. Say she wasn't on the okay. show. Okay, I don't know what's happening. She's not on the show. I got my OSOP. Uh, I got my people's, and I told you I cannot be responsible for what is happening here. That, that's okay. It's it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you were able to get. So so for those of you out there who don't know, Ashley splurged and bought Starlink. So she's on Starlink tonight. Of course, I am on Starlink. We we checked. And there was nine other people Katie connected. Katie or, I'm on. I don't know who the rest are. Okay. Know, there, well, there's, there's a ton of people connected, but and so that may be that may cause a few little glitches here and there, but uh, nothing too bad. We're just glad that uh, she was able to not be such a tight wad and came off some cash and bought Starlink for a change. Now she can quit complaining or trying to get mine. She wanted to take my Starlink with her. Unfortunately, mine was getting swapped out for a new one because, anyway, I had an issue with mine. Because you break it and you damage crap, and there is one kilt right there for you. Look at that sexiness right there. Wrong side. I'm on this. Over there. Who is that? Where's the flag? Who is that? That would be Pedro, and there is my other kilt, Alex. Say hi, boys. What's up? The flag is in the cricket. We'll get the flag. Okay, go get the flag. Where's the Osos flag? So, flag so since flag we've been, there. Yeah, we get the Osos flag. <laughs> since Ashley got on a few minutes before the show, uh, she's been drinking uh, Blue oh, Chair shit. rum. 
And um, I did that, but it, now I'm drinking this, the penguin beer, and it tastes like Moose Tracks ice cream. It's really, really good. Apparently, it's 15% alcohol. I was told to tell everybody that. Okay. Well, there mm -hmm. you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is so, this is what's happening. So, <laughs> this is going to be a tough show. <laughs> So tell me how's the weather down there. What's the okay, okay, for We're those who don't know camp. for those who don't know where I'm at, I'm at Big Ben National Park uh in Texas. I am literally walking distance from the Rio Grande. <laughs> I got to put my feet in it yesterday. This way. This yeah. way. Um, this way. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now apparently I'm gonna represent Wander. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll for a minute and then we'll do the uh, so, uh, um, Chris yes, wants to know so, you're getting drunk tonight, huh? <laughs> well, it's been a lot of drinking trips, so yes, probably. Um, <laughs> Michael says he doesn't want to see a big Ben. <laughs> Guys, they said they don't want to see a big Ben, okay? That means <laughs> they want to see Ben, ben okay. Big Ben. They don't want to see a big Ben. <laughs> So, so you guys are down by the border. You're camped out at Cottonwood uh, Campground. We're at Cottonwood Campground. Ashley, Ashley went across the border illegally. Why do you have to tell me? That was a conversation between you and I. You were not supposed to tell people I illegally crossed. I don't need the six thousand dollar ticket. <laughs> you never said I couldn't say anything. Yeah. So I did technically illegally cross. Um, no, you didn't. And crossed the Rio and stood on the other side. Um, Unfortunately, son of a bitch. Um, this is gonna be a rough show. Sorry. Um, we <laughs> um, our passports didn't make it for the trip. Uh, yeah. so tomorrow the rest of our crew is going to Piquias, uh, which is like half a mile in uh, across the border. Um, they're gonna go hang out there for most of it. yes we were told by one of the uh park rangers that if you are caught illegally crossing the border here at the national park it is a six thousand dollar ticket um i'm i refuse to get caught but i had to say at least went into mexico because our passports didn't show up uh so they're gonna go spend the day doing that we're gonna go hit some more hiking trails yesterday we did uh the balance rock which was really cool um, I've got some photos here on my phone, but I I don't know what's happening. Oh, now we're touching me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, oh my god! Oh I don't Lord. know what's happening. But I'm I'm being touched. But there's the balance rock. There you so go. It's just a big giant boulder. Oh, we got to hey, stand you, need under. To post those, you need to post those on uh, Overland Radio and tell everybody where Don't you're at you at. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Leave my hair clip alone. And uh, um, yeah, you need to post what? those on Overland Radio. <laughs> I can do that. Uh, yeah. So we hung out there yesterday, but I injured my foot. Why are you stealing my beer? Pedro! Chad, said, Chad says you, he figured you, when you came back, you'd get money in a free house. <laughs> <laughs> when you came back I mean, there was some talk about that too. Oh, hey, look, now I got to do a coffee whiskey shot. All right, do it. Go ahead. I'm not. I'm not shooting the whole thing. Go ahead. Don't be a wimp. You have to do the whole one, Ashley. You have to do, do the whole it. one. Shit, do, really? it. Yeah. Go, do it. Go. 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 Come on. Go. Yeah. That's why Jeff. Let's be honest. You've had worse things in your mouth Take before, anyway. So don't worry. Yes, about I that. probably have had worse things in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's that hilarious. burned. Oh, yeah, go. oh, so now we're going to hit the moonshine? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, that one tastes good. Oh, geez. All Wait, right. Chris so... already asked if I was getting drunk tonight. <laughs> getting so... crunk. Uh, apparently, that's probably going to happen. Crunk. 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 Mm -hmm. We're going to be we're gonna be juggalos the rest of the night. Uh... Oh, like, Jennifer got picture proof of me doing that shot. That's scary. Yeah, we can, that's we gonna can bite me later. definitely screenshot that and use it to our advantage. <laughs> so, but, um, say hi to my husband. There is his lovers right there. Those three. So, Dad about says we're going to see some interesting toys on this episode. <laughs> so, the girls are all wearing shirts that says raising my husband is exhausting. 
Those are the three husbands. Right there. Say hi, boys. Hi, boys. Yo, boys. What are you doing? Oh, okay. So the boys are wearing a shirt that says, Drunk as a bunch of assholes this side of the campground. Which is very accurate. And the children. And the children are wearing shenanigan tees. A person that is led astray by a shenanigator to participate in shenanigans. I like it. Yes. I like it. That's pretty good. This <laughs> apparently we're just gonna have everybody, the crew here today. That's okay. It's part of doing it. You know, this is the, this is the fun stuff. This is a side of Ashley we don't normally get to see because you're such a oh, no. freaking prude. Most I am time. not a prude. You just have to go camping with me when. No. Yeah, I don't know. And then. No. no. Yes, I do. Don't read this book, by the way, when you're at Big Ben no. and hiking. Death and, so Ashley's holding up a book that says Death in Big Ben, and she's in the Big Ben National Park. Uh, yeah, I'm going to guess that's probably not a cool thing to be reading. <laughs> it is not. Um, but, it is not but Jennifer the best says thing you got to get alcohol in her first, so I'm oh, guessing that's probably the key is to get a little alcohol. But so anyway, uh, well, so you guys so some of these tomorrow. photos, some of these photos, or some, some of the shit that's been happening back here. There is a professional photographer in this group tonight, and he's been taking photos. So I'm really scared as to what's happening that I can't see. <laughs> Chris thinks that since you're reading that book, you're in training to murder someone. <laughs> if it is, it's going to be Jeff, you know, because he didn't finish the cricket until Thursday night and we left Saturday morning. Well, is it finished? It is finished, but he's already talking about going in and redoing some cabinet fronts. Um, it's so he's going to go in there and screw with it again, but he's not allowed to take the whole thing out. Um, but yes. So, stop screwing. <laughs> fucking A. Okay, I'm sorry. They are bound and determined to take my hair down. Um, yes, live streaming from the campsite is awesome. Please don't. So, just so you know, listen, here's the deal. On the way down, you guys played the radio theater game. What happened? Did you spit your pants? <laughs> he is riding a bike. A child's with a bike with a kilt and flying a and flag a and almost almost took out our dragonfly awning uh, and, and then money. tried to crash into the back of my chair. I thought maybe you <laughs> crapped your pants or something. That was what I was just saying. So listen, Radio Chatter Games in the house and you radio guys played chatter. Radio Chatter on the way down. We did. So we did a couple rounds, a few rounds on the way down because for those coming from Tulsa area to Big Ben, the journey sucks. There's nothing to see. It is extremely boring. So we right. used our Midland radios constantly. The three boys were being themselves. Um, but, like, the radio never went off. We were constantly in communications with each other. And then I'm, I'm – they're literally pushing the one on the bike now. Um, I can't. And <laughs> – they're enjoying this a little too much. Um, and then last night we had, so all of us, so there is a total of 12 of us that are in, in our group camping. And right. then we had two people from a different campsite join us that we had just met this week, this weekend. Nice. And we literally played, I'm not drinking any more of that. Uh, we literally played radio chatter for about an hour or so last night. And I sent them a couple of videos um, one of the questions was, what's the first thing you're going to buy when you get home that we played? And the best answer was by Pedro, which I don't know where he's standing, which one is him right now. I'm right here. Uh, what, was, what was your answer? What was your answer on the first thing you're going to buy when you get home? Oh, laxatives. <laughs> laxatives. <laughs> it's clogged up. Yep. A lot of business here gets stuck. You got to <laughs> move it. <laughs> Have you ever seen those videos when like a dam has had like a like a like a like a door that hasn't been opened in years and all the mud is there and just kind of goes that that's yeah. what we're talking about after three days or more. Is that where they throw the tires through the windows? <laughs> so there's all the tires oh, Lord, the windows, yes. the whole thing. Got it. Oh okay, my god. Really well. It's, no, it's gone from bad to worse. <laughs> 
Well, I, 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 so I warned you. I warned you. Why? Why? Why are Brenda, you petting me? Brenda, where are you? <laughs> so, Ashley, did you know that yes. Radio Chatter has a new expansion pack, but it's adult only? <laughs> I yes, they told. So when I sent them a couple of videos earlier, when we had Starlink up going. And uh, so I just got to see the response and was chatting a little bit before the show. They said that this group definitely needs some non-radio appropriate questions. Yeah. I volunteered that this group will be guinea pigs. We will. I promise it will yeah. be epic responses. And yes. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's gonna be. I'm gonna great. have to jump on the website and order some. So go to uh, uh, go to their website and uh, grab the new ones. It and they're not radio friendly, but. Um, just from some of the stuff they've posted, it looked like it'll be fun stuff. So I, I, yeah, oh, I guess I, you guys. I can't wait. It. I can't yeah. wait. I'm going to have to order some when we get back. Cause we're already talking about our next camp trip together as a group. Um, you know, we need to do one of these where you're at one campground on Starlink and I'm on another campground at Starlink. Okay. We should, we need to work that out somewhere. Well, our group is um, not going to rendezvous. Michael. Oh, Gun Michael's Island. in the Wait, house. Like Wave like Jeep, wave like a door. Man, I haven't even been drinking and I can't talk. Hey, you know what? And I have been drinking and can talk. So, what does that say? There you go. So, Mike, hey, take listen. some pictures with some Disney princesses for me because my kids, when we went last year, wouldn't do it. Oh, nuts. Well, I know they uh, I'm not sure that the Josh is in the house with, too. With, with three guys. Power wagon. Oh, yeah, yeah. There he is with three guys and kill. So, I'm not sure that the pictures are going to be those. Uh, all that worthy well it's just um, two jeff forgot his kilt uh he had no brain function with the cricket going on but they did i mean that does not mean that some shit's not gonna happen and i mean i may or may not have already been flashed accidentally <laughs> yeah God. hey Hey, you know what? At least everybody's having a good time. That's what matters. Everybody watching, I'm sorry. I have I have no control of what is happening behind me. Um, I, I get it. I could, I, at least, but they're having a good time. You know what I'm saying? That's, uh, yes, but the problem is they're all plotting right now. Yeah. And I don't know what is going to happen. Stop, please. <laughs> I'll be sorry. We yeah, love to watch. I mean, <laughs> you guys do. It will be a shit Look, show. Um, I, I feel like I'm in a circus. The monkey around the tricycle's <laughs> back. Hey, and Jeff is the monkey. Jeff I is mean, the monkey. Jeff is the monkey. He's the one that's in there honking the horn right now. Hey, so guess what? At more, what? I've uh -huh. lined you up interviews. Well, so we need to talk about more. You're I won't going? be there until Saturday. Right, guys. Why? So the what reason the why hell, we had we ended up with Starlink is because Gavin got his Tulsa Tech teacher signed him up for two competitions. So his 3D <laughs> I literally okay? just had a grown man in a kilt crash the bike right behind me. For those that get to listen to this later, that's what that's what you just heard. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing and the whole thing like he's safe. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> anyway. So, <laughs> so listen, let me get this straight. You're not going to be there Friday with me? I won't be there Friday. Jeff will be there. Um, <gasps> Jeff will be oh, there Thursday. Jeff, but Jeff's got to yeah, run y'all's booth. Yes. Yeah, so Jeff's going to run the booth by himself. Um, the, but Gavin got... Signed up for competition. His 3D. We're being we've got a flare for the dramatics happening <laughs> for his crash. Um, Jen, he can't go to the ER. We are too far away from any sort of medical assistance. The closest is like Midland, Texas. <laughs> He's going to be life flighted out of here at this point. Um, but the. Okay, so Gavin's got two competitions coming up uh, that are literally that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And he just stole my beer. Um, 
Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I don't know what time he's going to be back on Friday. So I have to take, I have to pick him up from the Tulsa Tech camps at camp and then we'll head straight to more depending on what that time is. Um, hey, 20 bucks if you punch <laughs> him in the coin for Hey, hey, yo, I'm getting better. 20 bucks to punch you in the nuts. Come here. <laughs> I'm getting better. 20 bucks to punch you in the nuts. Jennifer <laughs> says you got 20 on that too. <laughs> I think your wife will hurt me if I literally punch you. <laughs> hey, so so listen, I got us some giveaways. I need a light. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm not going to share them okay. tonight. But <laughs> Dan's I'm laughing at the so coin can we move my interviews up more uh, to Saturday? Well, I, I'll have to figure that out, but I have a couple set okay. up for you. But I, I ordered us a few giveaways and I am like 99% certain that nobody else will have these. Everybody's got stickers and everybody got patches and that kind of stuff. And those are great. Don't get me wrong. But I thought we'd do something a little different. So I did. I placed the order. Okay. I should be here in about a week. I'm not going to tell what it is on the radio because if I do, then every damn body else will go order them and they'll have them at the show and, It'll it it so I'm not gonna indulge. However, I need Jeff to help me out with something. So tell Jeff when y'all get back, he's got to call me. Well, you told him like a couple weeks ago that you had some project for him or needed him to do, or you signed him up for something, but you still haven't told him what that is. Well, I don't think he need, I don't think he has to do it now, so it's okay. It's getting dark there, girl. I know. I was just yelling at Jeff that he needs to turn on the outside lights or get me a flashlight or something. So, 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 you had forty dollars on punching him in the coin, coin purse. I know. And, and, and Chad know. happens to think that's pretty hilarious. I mean, the fact that he called it a coin purse is, Chad. I mean, probably the accurate size. I don't have to talk to his wife, but yeah. Chad says he doesn't think it's legal to hand out gummies at the expo. Oh, that's not what it is. I promise. <laughs> a few years ago, Chad, remember we were, he gave we were him doing to uh, Jeff a big iron. Yeah, I did. Yeah, Jeff slept like daughter. a baby that night. <laughs> he, I mean, he slept good, like out. I don't yeah. know. I keep hoping that the darker it gets, the less people see of what shenanigans are happening behind me. The children's shirts are very accurate with the shenanigan tea. That's okay. Hey, listen, everybody's having a good time, and that's what counts. When you go on a trip like this with your friends and it's spring break, the kids need to have a good time. This is a great outlet for them to get out and run. So it's all good. It's it's all good. Is that better? You want this one? You look like you've just been pulled over and are getting spotted by the cops. <laughs> no, I – oh, just setting up my Devo site for me. Um well, they blocked me with a headlamp because they're they're being sweet. My amazing extra husbands are being awesome and giving me spotlight. But your what did you call them? Husband. They're my extra husbands. Extra husbands. They're my extra husbands. Just the tip. Just the tip. Oh dear God. Okay. <laughs> well. Even I'm not sure where to go with that one. Beautiful. Okay. So now like, I got my Devo light going. What is the crowd like? Like orange. We need a vote. Orange. White. White. Orange. Orange. Lee says orange. What? Lee says orange. Lee says orange. Orange, orange. Ma uh, okay. orange matters. Orange. Okay. Orange. Thank you. This is this is one of my extra husbands right here. Yeah. That's Alex. Here, Alex. Nice. Nope. Nope. So. All right. <laughs> Have you been eating well? Yeah. So every night, someone from the group cooks something different. Tonight was actually supposed yeah. to be my night, but um, because of the show, they just they gave me the night off, and everyone just kind of <laughs> made their own thing. Uh, so tomorrow, oh, I get to get my tacos. Nice. Yeah. Well, um, I tell you what, since it's <laughs> since it's kind of one of those nights when you can't get any uh, a break, we may have to cut this one short just so that you don't get you know completely harassed we may we may do half the show tonight <laughs> right there. 
Oh, you're case. not enjoying the shenanigans. Oh, I'm enjoying the shenanigans. I just feel like I you're going to I lost my train of thought just once. Yeah, like really I, bad, but that's it. I just figured that you were going to get tired of them giving you a hard time or messing with you. And, you're, and, and I didn't want anything to be on video or audio of like, you know, death upon some guy. <laughs> no, so. we're just, we'll make them a statistic in the book that I'm reading. You know, death hey, there you go. Um, yeah. <laughs> How'd the forerunner do pulling the trailer? Would y'all get like nine miles a gallon or what? Actually, we got about 11 and a half uh, pulling. So, but we didn't put water in it until we got here. So we tried to keep some of the weight out of it. Yeah. Which helped. Good... And then we'll empty, we'll empty the water out again before we leave uh, to assist again as well. So, when do y'all head back? That was actually, we leave Friday. So we'll be back Saturday. Um, we're going to, we'll leave Friday morning whenever we get around. And then we'll, oh, I need to tell him. I sent you a message on Facebook and you have not responded. Or Adam, sorry. Alex was over here. Um, and you have not responded to me. That's I have because a set 22 asked me. Idea. He sent me a message and he goes, who the hell is this Ashley chick? And I told him. <gasps> what and the he's, fuck? And he's like, should I respond? And I'm like, hell no, don't respond to her. I had a great idea for step 22 gear. He hears that shit all the time. Actually, he, he's I'm true. I'm sure he does. Look, look this, is, this is him. Me no do social media. He, he's not lying. <laughs> he's on watching the show right now. He can respond really quick to a message. Uh, anyway. But no, great idea for twenty two step 22 product. And that could be my yeah. first piece. It, don't feel bad. I sent him a text yesterday with a link and told him that he needed to get off his duff and do something. Uh -huh. And I was I sent him the link to hopefully inspire him. And uh, he's yet to text me back. So, you know, don't feel bad. He's ignored my text messages. Well, I will say for anyone that wants to come out to Big Ben, uh, definitely worth it if you're into the night sky. I'm um, hoping tonight's going to clear. We actually get to see the Milky Way. The last two nights it's been cloudy. Uh, it rained last night. But... It's been fun. It's been a fun trip, if you can't tell by the stuff that's been going on in the background. So, uh, are you guys going to join us for the the eclipse in a few weeks? I'm trying to figure out where we're going to go because oh, I everywhere is go. sold up. I got the place to you go. You haven't told me. Well, I'm not telling anybody unless you're going with me because I don't want everybody and their daggone brother there. Okay. But the problem All is... All I got to do is from work that some of us have to go like days early to secure these places so that nobody else gets them. That's why I have you. Right. But I can't do it by myself. You're going to have to let Jeff go with me. That's fine. Jeff can go. Okay. Hot dog. Jeff's going to, Jeff's going to more solo for first two days. Man, that actually might, that might work out good in mine in his favor. Well, why? Oh, nothing. Why? Oh, no big deal. Uh, it's okay. Wh why? No, no, no. It's okay. So anyway, yeah, mm -hmm. we need to go do the solar eclipse together. It's only a couple of weeks away, I guess. What, two and a half weeks mm -hmm. or something like that? And uh, So it's April 8th, and so Emma's birthday is the 7th. Uh, so it's the day we, after. We don't care. Well, I know you don't care, but that's how I keep track of it. You're supposed to tell her that, and then she's going to get mad at me, and then, you know, we have that little love hate thing going oh no on. they're 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 actually behaving right now so oh, enjoy the peace and quiet ish while you can <laughs> uh it's mm -hmm. funny um anyway um okay cool so we got uh there's some other i found some shows uh expos or events i want to ask you if you've ever heard of them hang on i'm gonna pull okay. them up real quick i can guarantee you the words probably the answer is probably no Well, from I haven't heard of them, but apparently I'm really scared. I hear chuckling somewhere, and I can't see them. What? I hear chuckling, and I can't see them. Oh no, really? Yeah, I'm scared. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I might not be able to tell you what they are, but they're all in Texas, and I can't remember what the heck. I thought I saved this, but apparently I didn't. Okay. Uh, that was an epic fail on Lee's part. I thought I <laughs> saved the page. Obviously, I didn't save the page. 
Obviously not. What uh, am I going to do with you? Okay. Let me try one more place. Hang on. I want to see if anybody else had heard of some of these events. Yeah, I can't find it now. Okay, well, it was a good it was a good thought. I was thinking that there was a, like three events that I saw posted somewhere, and I thought I saved it, but I didn't, obviously. So I was like, hey, we should go to those. So now that the cricket's fixed, are you guys actually going to do some camping now? I mean, more frequently? Yes. Is there, are you sure? Yes. Yes. Because y'all missed all the polar bear camp outs. And I even I had know. a spare tent on a trailer that I offered up. I know. Uh, but, yes, we will be camping a lot more now that the cricket's fixed. Uh, uh -huh. Which I'm excited. I mean, to the point where the kids were begging Jeff to her fix the cricket because we, they wanted to go camping. So, yes, more, more ventures to come now. Hey, look. Jeff checking in from the Baskin Robbins and Mount Home. Dude, I don't know what kind of ice cream you're getting, but cookies and cream is the only way to go. That's not true. I mean, cookies and cream is good, but cookie dough. <laughs> Chad says, use your browser history. And Jennifer says, I'm sure he deleted it, so wife doesn't see your porn. <laughs> so, this is probably true. Obviously, this somebody's is, I mean, been talking, and I'm not me. I don't know what y'all are talking <laughs> about, but I don't do that kind of stuff. I'm too old and lazy for it. You just you can't keep up. Is that what you're trying to say? I didn't say that, but second the cookie dough. That's the it, cookie big boy. dough. Cookie dough is the way to go. Adam, are you ready for the Step 22 trailer? Actually, Adam, uh, yes, and we probably should get on the horn and talk about that because I got some ideas for you. Anyway, well, apparently he didn't answer. Are you going to talk to him? Andrew said he came for the Twinkies, and I didn't bring the Twinkies again. So, Wait, what about Big, the Twinkies? Have you not heard this story? No. Okay, so Chris and Amy. Chris comes, Marler, comes to the, uh, at, um, at the Arkansas camp out. Mm -hmm. This cat pulls out Twinkies and toasts them on the fire, a toasted Twinkie. And then we, okay. he takes the Twinkie, and he dips it in the jar of... Uh, moonshine, the the banana cream pie, I think it was moonshine. Okay, so it kind of absorbed a little bit, and I took a bite. And I'm gonna be honest, it it uh, it was kind of life changing to an extent. I mean, to like, I was like, holy crap! I'd never had any. That was like amazing. Okay, so one of the guys here brought some Twinkies. Huh? So one of the guys actually brought some Twinkies on that I trip. Them over the fire and them. dip them in that sipping in that moonshine, but. So the deal was Chris was going to bring the moonshine and I was supposed to stop and get big boxes of Twinkies for big iron for the po the mm -hmm. last polar bear camp out. And um, I failed and I, I miserably failed. And so all night long, he had people walking up to me like quietly, like we were doing drug deals and they would go, dude, you got the Twinkies. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have the Twinkies. And then lo and behold, I start to walk away from the front of the stage and the band that's there, the guy stops and goes, hey, where's Lee? And I'm thinking, he can't be asking about me. And so I kind of sort of keep walking. He goes, Lee, Lee, where are you at? And I'm like, uh, hearing his dude, I hear you got the Twinkies. And I was like, son of a bitch. There you go. Ashley's got the Twinkies. How about that? I got the Twinkies. Y'all need the Twinkies. They're here at Big with me right now. So anyway, I probably got more crap over that whole deal from I can't tell you how many people because Chris was going around putting them up to it. Even to the point where the guy on the stage was going, yo, Lee, where's the Twinkies? I hear you got the Twinkies. And I'm like, geez, you got to be kidding me. My wife I'm is up I on the hill them. in the alley cab and she hears this and she's freaking rolling. And I get up there, and she's like, boy, you just got roasted on good, didn't you? I was like, yeah, <laughs> kind of had that coming, though. I forgot the Twinkies. So anyway, for those of you out there, go toast a Twinkie. Stick it some of that banana cream pie moonshine stuff. Well, I get to try it tonight with the strawberries and cream moonshine. Oh, so uh, we'll that would be, that ooh, that'll actually be really good. Yeah. I bet it would. Get a video of that. The, I want to get okay. it. Hey, do video, reaction videos, and post them on Overland Radio so everybody can see them. Okay. 
I can do that, you and I'll have to post you, the videos of uh, us playing radio chatter last night. Yeah, get in there, post it. You got access to it. Don't be such a loser. I only set up Starlink once in a while while we're out here. We do try to disconnect. So, nah, yes, just enjoy it. Uh, so apparently, we need fun. to let Sean know about this Twinkie and Moonshine thing. So next time we see Sean, Jen, I'm posting it in the group chat before I go. turn on Starlink. There you go. So anyway, that's that's that. So take your Twinkies and do that stuff. Anyhow, all right. Uh, so yeah, what else? I'm you got anything? Fire roast a Twinkie today, tonight, and dip it. In and the strawberry moonshine as long as Jeff hasn't drank it all. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Uh, anything else good and exciting? No, we got hiking tomorrow, so hopefully I don't injure my uh, re-injure my foot. What? What do you mean? Uh, so yesterday when we did the hike to the Balance Rock, I decided last minute that we were going to go hike that. Uh, everybody just kind of split off their own ways. And we said last night we were going to we were, we were go do it. We ended up going down um, like an off-road trail to get to it. Then, of course, like we get to the part where you can park uh, to go the trailhead. And Jeff sees a sign that says high clearance vehicles only past this point. So, of course, he's like, fuck it, go. So <laughs> we go down more trails <laughs> and they've got primitive camp spots back there that are beautiful. Uh, beautiful overlook. Uh, so check those out. Turn back around. Because the plan wasn't to go hike. I didn't put on my hiking shoes. So I just had all my street shoes. And you had to climb up the side of a mountain to get to the top to where this boulder is balancing between these two formations. Yeah. And I don't know if I stepped on like a jagged edge on the way down or even on the way up. But by the time we got back down to the canyon, I was looking at Jeff. I was like, dude, I've done something to my foot. I think I've bruised the bottom of it. And he's like, you're falling apart. I was like, what the hell is burning 40? And like, shit just breaks. You're like, your body just says, ha ha, oh, and good. beats up on you. So I legitimately have this bruise on the bottom of my foot, right at the back of the ball of my foot. Oh, no. And so today's been a resting it day. And I'll wrap it up again tomorrow and make sure I got my hiking boots before we go hike. Well, you know, if tonight is any any indication of what yesterday was, it's quite possible you were just drunk and fell. I did not was not drinking yet. I don't drink until the nighttime. No. Oh, because I gotta no. watch the kids. Because the park ranger told us that when you're on the trails, don't let the kids out of your sights. Like at all. They're not allowed to fall behind or go go on ahead of you. Because of the mountain lion mountain lion population. Yeah. Yeah. So the shoes like the kids have to stay with you, keep them in your sight at all times. So I'm the sober one while the boys are drinking during the day. That's funny. The the wives the wives are sober, and then we have our fun at night. <laughs> oh geez. Yeah. Well, now that you got the the cricket fixed, I hope that you guys are going to do some more camping because you kind of been you kind of sucked at air lately. Oh, we have. I'm not denying that. I, it's solely my husband's fault. We can put the blame on him. It's it's okay. Oh, there, there's no we can. The fact is he did it. He did it. He was supposed <laughs> to fix the tower. That was it. One thing. And winterize it. And the whole well, kitchen. It was kind of like the kitchen, you know? He's supposed to do one thing and he ended up tearing half the house apart. So I know, obviously we know Jeff doesn't know his own limits. <laughs> he's got a problem with kitchens. Yeah. Obviously. He can't leave them alone. No oh, geez. Mm -hmm. All right, well, how about this? We made it 40 minutes, and... Uh, You're coughing out early? They've calmed down. Have they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess they kind of have, but... Mm -hmm. There is no shenanigans happening behind me. They haven't no, happened in no. a while. So, oh, yeah, wait, wait. Tell us about this. So we skipping rendezvous and doing a big-ass convoy to Moab? Is that what you were going to tell me earlier? No, we're we're skipping it, but I don't know what our plans are yet. But we talked about doing a big group uh, trip to Moab. The problem is the kids don't get a big fall break like they used to. It's only a day or two. Um, so now we're going to try and pick something a little bit closer and then save a big trip for summer or spring break next year. Well, we made a choice to settle down. 
oh, okay, my son is telling me that they all decided to have a truce and they're going to settle down for the rest of the show. Our buddy Travis at uh, Element out there in Fruta, which is part of uh, Grand Junction, for those of you who don't okay. know, um, says to come out that way. He's got some, you know, he rents just about any type of vehicle you need for your uh, trips and expeditions. And so um, okay. he knows all the trails and uh, he's a super cool guy and knows all the trails, knows all the places to go. And uh, if he says, come to Fruta, you should come to Fruta. Actually, Send me you some know, information where, about it so I can talk to the group. So so where he's at, it's what an hour and a half to Moab, but then you can okay. go north, you can go north and go up to Dinosaur, which is a really cool place, the state park. Okay. And uh, and then you got the the what do they call it? The upper plateau or whatever, not too far from there mm -hmm. either. But Travis knows all the hookups. Travis, okay. Adam says you need to hit him up. Why Adam doesn't do stool? Adam, I'm throwing you back yeah, under the bus because you have not. Here's the me thing. That. Listen, you if you if you're in the know, you have their cell phone numbers. Apparently, I'm not in the know. I'm not good enough. You're not. <laughs> but you just <laughs> have to know somebody Bobby that Dooley. is. Love you too, honey. <laughs> I'm, <just> kidding. <laughs> I'm so hurt right now. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, fruit is a neat place. And uh as a matter of fact, Travis and I were talking earlier today about uh um heading north up towards dinosaur. The kids would love I don't dinosaur. Even know. We got to see some dinosaur fossils yesterday. Uh, well, this here. place up there where I'm talking about, it's uh it's pretty epic, so I'll have to go check it out. Jeffrey says she pulls her kids to do online school. Yeah, no, no, mm -mm. I cannot actually do doesn't that have that kind of patience. No, no, I will be the first one to admit it. Gavin and I will fight. Yeah, no, it says, would you and Ashley be interested in joining Omaha Toyota four wheel drive group and their fall chili camping event in October? Hey, I'd be Give down me some for info. that. Send me Chris, some information, send more info, man. I'd be down for that. What about you, Ashley? Yeah, give me some information. Uh, I can't guarantee that the whole crew may not come with me. Well, It'll be an adventure. Well, hey, we might even have the studio trailer ready by then. Are we going to have it ready for more? Uh, might be in a raw form. <laughs> <laughs> in a raw form. I mean, it, it's like it's likely that it, it will be there, but it's not likely it's going to be like decked out and all that stuff with everything. But It'll be there. I hope. Okay. So. I'm gonna say anyway. yes, Chris. Message me. Send me some information. I want to find out more about this. Yeah. Tracks, yeah, fossils, more. small dinosaur-ish lizards. We have it all. That's awesome. Gav, that's right up Gavin's alley too. No, he's not a big dinosaur person. But he's Emma not. did enjoy. No. Uh, Emma oh, was no. having fun sticking her head in like a T-Rex head. Uh, her okay. head in the mouth of one. I've got pictures. It's great. Uh, Chris says uh, Bourbon and Bagwoods joined last year. It was a family-friendly event. He's, he's referring to the one in Omaha. And uh, if it's right. family-friendly, Ashley can come. <laughs> Sorry. He's not That's family not true. It is, it is just a memorable experience everywhere. Why are you your words? I'm not yet. Give me a little bit. They have the mild, mild. Wait, wait. Travis headless. says we have Mile the Headless Chicken Fest too. Okay. What is I gotta that? find out. This I'm is gonna thing. have to Google this. I know. I wish. And here's something that if anybody wants to do it, please go do it. Send us some. Send me messages on some of these events because I'd love to research them and see if we couldn't go to them. I think it would be absolutely epic to to find some of these ones. I like these events that are uh, a lot smaller and a little less known that you can get to and just, you know, it's, um, you know, can be uh, a little bit on the front. It's good to go to the big events. Don't get me wrong. Yes. I love the, you know, but, you know, then you do one or two of those in the year. Then the rest of the time, I want to do all the small events, the ones that are in the little towns that have, mm -hmm. you know, those are the ones I'm looking forward to. No, I agree. Those are those are more fun. Um, and apparently it's Mike the Headless Chicken Fest. Oh, okay. 
But I'm Mike. still I still want to look this up. Mike the Headless Chicken. Yeah, I need I'm, to see. I'm intrigued. I'm gonna have to Google this there. Um I don't know. I'm like I said, I'm really concerned. I just heard a lot of yelling over there. I'm not sure where they are. It's dark. It's in June. And uh okay, so it's a big sculpture of a chicken without a head. Okay. Um it's, I guess it's kind of like an art contest or something. That's kind of neat. They have all kinds of stuff here. Uh, photo, publicity, I'm it up. vendors. Mike so they have a, you I know, they have why five, is he headless? Huh? Why is he headless? I don't know, but there's people running around in costumes that are headless. <laughs> oh, so according to Wikipedia... This chicken lived for 18 months after its head had been cut off, surviving because most of his brain stem remained intact. That's, okay, that's creepy. That's mildly disturbing, actually. Right. And okay. I don't well, between that and reading the Death and Big Ben book, I am I am very concerned. Yeah, that's a little bit scary. Yeah, well, the Jennifer second says good night. She's got to go. Uh, uh, so the yeah, second story maybe... in this book's about a homicide that they didn't solve. Is it really? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I... Yeah. I have too much ADD to sit still and read, which is odd because I can sit here in front of a computer and build a website. Ooh. Chad, if you are still on here, Chad Boyd. Your hammock stand is amazing. It's currently hooked up next to the on the Forerunner, and I spent probably a couple hours just hanging out in it earlier. And I could, could join it. And my pictures? children, Jeff took pictures, but I don't know what he did with them. Well, post some pictures on the Overland Radio page for God's sake, woman. You know what? My life does not revolve around the Overland Radio page. Why not? I have a page too. I don't know. We'll post it in all of them. <laughs> I will. Loser. Whatever. But if Chad's listening, I put up my hammock stand and so, I even had somebody stop and ask that he's like, that's a really cool contraption. I was like, Did you tell him where to get it? And I'm Overland I did. It. So there's the people down the way. Super sweet couple. They're retired and they're from Canada. They're from Alberta, Canada. And they've been a boss to talk to. And they drive a fish gen forerunner. It's 17. It's just not decked out like ours. And they live in their camper snowbird. So when the weather gets cold in Canada, they travel for months on end nice. and then they go home when the weather gets nice. That's good. Heck yeah. They are they are an absolute boss. But he's like, I like that little contraption for the hammock. And so we told him and we were trying to convince him that when they head back up, swing by Oklahoma and we'll show them around. There you go. Yeah. Heck yeah. Well, Chad Chad had that thing set up in Arkansas at the polar bear camp there, and he was laying in it playing his Nintendo on the TV that was in the back of the truck. That's hilarious. But he had a, I don't know, maybe a 36-inch TV or 40-inch TV or something in the back of that Dodge Ram, and he it's on a little swivel thing. He had it pivot. He was <laughs> laying in that hammock, and he was had his Nintendo, and he was gaming. I was like, that's that's rough, man. That's that's rough. Yeah. I mean, I sat out here today, uh, tried to stay in some of the shade just because it was warmer today. Um, and you know, being out in the desert, they're back, they're back. Um, but hung out there and read my book for a little bit, tried to take a nap when my children weren't trying to get in the hammock. And I'm really concerned right now because they're surrounding me. <laughs> You're okay. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing, but they're whispering over my head if you can't hear them. Nobody and has they're whipped literally cream. surrounding me. I don't see anything like whipped cream or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. So I don't think they're going to no, like. There's, nobody packed whipped cream. I don't think. You shouldn't say that stuff out loud because then you give them ideas. Yeah. <laughs> They're this whispering. Is... I can hear them. This... This is... I'm uh, so scared. But they're, the you know, they're flying or flying. Overland Society, huh? 
Yep, the Overly Secret mm. Overland Society. That's our group. Uh, mm. When we get together, and we tell everybody about it, so it's not it's not overly secret, but just the parts. I love so, it. So, all right, I don't, I, Steve, I got a question. Is Steve, what? Did I say Steve? What are they saying? I don't. Sounds about Steve. We have a question. Steve, we have a question. Tell them about the. Hey, Andrew's got Andrew, a great idea. And if y'all weren't listening, Andrew wants me to tell you guys about the Twinkies. <gasps> go, Twinkies. go, fire roast this Twinkie and dip it in the cream moonshine. <gasps> And then oh, eat it. That sounds amazing. We're gonna do it right now. We're and right you gotta now. video it. Video it. Video oh, it. Okay. Okay. We'll do it right now. Okay. We need the reaction. <laughs> do what? We need the reactions. Yeah, I need the video so I can know what your reactions are. Okay. We'll okay. do it. We'll really do it. We'll okay. Apparently, they're really gonna go do it right now. So don't. We can't get off until they're done roasting the, their weenie or their Twinkie. Sorry. Well, we know where your mind's at. I did that on purpose. Oh, uh, whatever. Sure. I did. Hey, boys, go roast Life your wing. Tweet. No, wait, you're tweaky. <laughs> oh, earlier, the sun was setting, and Pedro was sitting on this side of me, and he said something, and the sun, like, hit me dead on in the eyes. I was like, I can't, I can't look at you. And he goes, what the fuck? I was like, this is not what I meant. <laughs> I just physically can't <laughs> look at you. I had to turn my chair. <laughs> That's so funny. yeah, like it's it's been that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, they're gonna love that. Just post yes. a video. I will. Yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, they're gonna roast the winning. Oh lord, we're sk- <laughs> is he skipping? Did he just skip <laughs> behind you in a kilt? Okay. That's Did you see the flash of thigh? <laughs> Thank God, no, I did not. I'm sure our viewers that watch this later on are going to be happy they didn't see the flash of thigh or hear the slap of Twinkies or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Dear Lord. Okay. The, the jingle of the, the coin purse. Of the coin purse, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my man. God, I'm crying. Oh. That was hilarious. Okay. On that note, let's call it a night. But do what? I said on that note, let's just call it a night. Oh, why? Oh, the fire going. There's Pedro got his fire going, so they must be roasting the Twinkie right now. Yeah, we'll post the video. Okay, I will. Well, I'm glad y'all are having fun, <laughs> and I'm I glad am. you were able to get on tonight, and I'm glad that you were able to um, embarrass yourself. And I didn't embarrass myself. I had a great oh, yeah, time. Yeah. I just can't speak for everybody else. <laughs> I'm just teasing with you, girl. All right, well. I'm just hoping nobody runs into the hammock over there in the dark and, like, flips over it because <laughs> it's still I hope up. not either. I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. You're in the middle of nowhere. I know. Like, okay. there is every, – everywhere we go is, like, an hour drive. Uh, tomorrow we're going to the hot springs uh, before the group heads off to Mexico. And then I don't know where we're going to go hike yet, but, yeah. Uh, but I brought my big camera, my actual Nikon, so I won't get to post really any photos from the trip until we get back. Why? You can't plug it into your laptop and hook it up? So I couldn't find, I have a specific drive because I have a MacBook and yeah. it doesn't take a, it doesn't have a USB port. It's just got those little thunder connectors and I couldn't find my adapter piece to allow me to read cards, uh, the USB, the little SIM cards. Yeah. And um, find it before we left. So I've got to get home and find it, or I'm going to have to swim by Best Buy and pick up a new one. All right. We'll take lots of photos. Post the Twinkie stuff. I will post the Twinkie stuff. I don't know who's videoing, so, but we're roasting Twinkie now. I'm going to dip it in moonshine. So thanks, Andrew, for that. Leave it to Apple. To get, you're right, right. Yes, leave it to Apple. To get, they got rid of everything. It is literally. They didn't get rid of USBs. I've had every MacBook for the last ten years, and every one of them had a USB on it. You ding no, ding. mine does not. Like even my even my microphone, I have to have an adapter piece to plug it into the USB to their Thunder connector. Well, what? Okay. Damn. All right. So well, this thing is like super restrictive when I I have to plug well, stuff. It's, in. Now that you came off some cash and bought Starlink, why don't you buy you a new MacBook too while you're at it? 
I would love to buy a new MacBook, but I'm sure Jeff will kick my ass. Right. But like, I can just use know. the excuse that Gavin can have this one for his Fusion 360 yep. stuff for his modeling, and then I can have the new one. There you go. Instead of buying him a Dell. There you go. Even better. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. Ashley, thanks for coming on all the way from Big Ben using me. her Starlink. Uh, be sure to go check out our sponsors, Overland Attic, Midland Radios of Midland USA, and Theo from Rugged Mountain, which you're not very far from him. But um, anyway, we'll see all of those great people at more and yes. uh, in about a month. Well, not even, well, roughly. Not even, yeah. It's close. And, um, it's getting there. And Ashley Saturday is going to be doing some interviews. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to take on Friday stuff. So you do uh, Friday. I'll do Saturday when I'm there. Just don't throw me for like the random shit like you did last year. No, that wasn't last year. That was like two years ago when we gave Whatever you Sir year William. It was. Yes, and I wasn't prepared. But you did great. And he even thought you did I great. Did. <laughs> I was anyway, impressed that I nailed it, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> So thanks, everybody. We appreciate you joining us. We'll see you next Tuesday night. Ashley, All to all of you and your family and friends that are with you, y'all travel safe on the way home. Thank you. We will. Bye, guys.